Hello, this is Mark with another Coldesi daily video. And today we're going to be using GraphTech Pro Studio. And we're gonna be talking about layering vinyl, how to set up this Nurses Are Heroes art for layering. What we're gonna do a little different than normal is, normal you'd see, normally you would see one layer, then you put another layer of vinyl on top of it, right? Directly on top layering the vinyl. What I don't prefer about this is those layers of vinyl stack on top of each other. It becomes thicker, you lose a little bit of washability over time, it's not as comfortable. So this method is a way that we're gonna pull out some of the art from the layer so when it layers it, it's much smoother. So let's get right to it. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just check all of our artwork and make sure that each color is just connected, com compounded together. This would be by grouping and ungrouping. So this is already grouped. I'm not going to be doing it on this uh, nurse cap right here, so we're gonna leave this alone. But all of my red together and all my blues together. I'm gonna select both of them by holding down shift. And now both of these letters are picked. And I'm gonna go into effects. And uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm gonna show you one way that I find pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna choose contour cut. And we're gonna go with our outer layer. Now this is gonna be, I'm gonna cut this in white. Because I'm using a white background here, I typically will just make the color of it gray, just so we can see it. And I'm gonna choose either with or without holes. With the holes means I'm gonna be cutting out the little holes. Without means I'm gonna go ahead and leave it whole. So that means that there will be white behind this in the end. There will be white vinyl. This is gonna be a white border. That's how I wanna do it. That's the look I'm going for, is to have that in there. Now what I'm gonna do is get this just to the point right here. This is the spot I was looking at. Between that H, I wanted that to be one piece. So I'll look throughout here. I'll go a little bit more, because I wanna fill in this area a bit more. And here we go. So that's what I'm looking for right there is that everything is kind of nice and smooth and this is all one word. Once we're ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and check this. And now we've got our outer border. You can right now go ahead and open up, open up your cutting tools and cut that border in white and cut the hat out in white and then you can cut the blue, cut the red, and you can layer this all on top of each other. This is ready to go for layering vinyl. However, you're gonna have two layers of vinyl. As I mentioned, you're gonna have a full white layer and then a full red and, and blue on top of that. So it's twice as thick, less comfortable, doesn't wash as well. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and separate my contour cut. This means I'm gonna be able to select that separately than my other lettering. So I've separated my contour cut. Do another one, except now I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. I'm gonna cut out on the inside. And I'm looking for just a bit. See, this is too much right here. As you can see, I've got a bunch of thin lines in here. This is gonna be hard to work with. So I'm looking for just enough. So if we zoom in here, it's just overlapped a bit. You want this overlapping. If I were to take the other graphic that I had before this contour cut, I could have cut out my white and my letters, right? And I could have had it as one layer. The problem is it makes it really, really hard to line up, especially because heat transfer vinyl under heat will shrink a little bit. And if this these two lines are exactly on top of each other, then it's going to be really hard to line those up, especially if it shrinks a little bit or if the shirt shrinks under heat. Um, we're working with high heat and pressure, things are going to move. So having this little bit of overlap is really great. So I'm gonna save that. And now we're just gonna check to make sure it's good to go, which I think it is, that's all we have to do. So I'll bring up my cutting. So 
So we have our cut tool open here and I'm gonna go ahead and check out my color layers. So here's everything. There's just my white on the inside there. So now that we are all set, let's go ahead and check for our cutting. So right here, we've got all the colors open. It looks right to me. Let's go ahead and we'll just test them out. Um, so here's everything. Let's turn off my reds. Turn off the blue. And here we, here's just our white or our gray. And that looks like what we want to cut out. We've got the inner contour cut, the outer contour cut, and our cap. And here's our red and blue. So that looks good. We're ready to send this to a cutter one color at a time. Stay tuned for tomorrow where we'll do part two where we actually make a t-shirt and show you actually cutting out the vinyl and layering it with this. Thanks for watching.